You may want the user to control your program using the mouse instead of the buttons or sliders. In order to make that possible for you, the programmer of NetLogo, uh, you, uh, NetLogo has given you four different dynamic variables and here they are. They are mouse X core, mouse Y core, which tell you the coordinates, X, Y and coordinates of the mouse when the mouse is inside the black visual area. Uh, mouse inside, which gives you back a true or false. Uh, when uh, true when the mouse is inside the black visual area and false when it's outside and mouse down when the left hand mouse button is pressed down and uh, false when it is not pressed down so let's take a look to see how these work we have a uh, small project which I have cooked up to show you the state of these four variables which are changing all the time uh, changing all the time when you move the mouse or change the mouse uh, left hand mouse button there is no by the way there is no indication of the state of the right hand mouse button because that is uh, captured by um, windows and the operating system in general to provide you with uh, context sensitive menus so let's take a look at this Notice that as I move the mouse, the X and Y coordinates uh, being reported here change. And also notice that they are not whole numbers. They are these very long decimal values. Now this is a world in which uh, the upper uh, left, upper right corner is 8.5 um, in X and 8.5 and in Y. And we can see that it, it approaches that as I move up there and negative that when I uh, move down to the left hand bottom area. Uh, notice that the mouse inside reports true all this time because I'm in the visual area and if I move the mouse outside the visual area it reports false and of course the X core and Y core don't mean anything when the mouse is outside. I move the mouse back in now I'm going to press down the left hand mouse button which I do right now notice that the mouse down a variable has been set to true or reports true rather and I've released the left hand mouse button and now it's uh, false. So these four variables give you the state of the mouse at any one time and you can make use of it. You cannot change them yourself because that would require that would actually mean that you would be controlling the mouse through the program and uh, that's a kind of interaction that's not allowed. Uh, let's take a look at another program that uh, I've provided you. By the way, I'm going to uh, leave this NetLogo project as a link um, down below the screen so you can download it and take a look at the code. We'll also take a look at the code uh, for this next project which is a very simple paint program. Um, this actually there's a white circular turtle that I am that the mouse is sort of dragging along and if I click uh, using the left hand mouse button it will paint with the appropriate color that it's set at. Uh, let's say we go to green here if I click now now the turtle is green and I can paint the patches these are this is a patch painter I can change the color to red and do that I can change the color to black and sort of undo this portion and pink over here like that how is this done this intimately uses the mouse control so let's take a look at that First of all, let's go to the code and see what the setup paint looks like. And here is the setup program. First, uh, what I want to do is uh, I want to create the uh, little turtle that is being dragged along. There is a particular uh, shape called shape, uh, circle to modified that I've created that allows the center of the the circle to be uh, color to be changed uh, I've made the size uh, 0 0.6 and uh, that will be turtle 0 um, I have to 
notice that these are special patches. These allow the turtle to take on the particular colors that I have shown here. So I have created a turtle zone is special property and I have made the patches down on the bottom where they are uh, colored, where the color palette is, the special palette. Here's the black square um, toward the left, the one over here, and all the rest. Here are the rest of the colors drawn repeatedly and where and their borders are also drawn. So I have made all of those uh, special. Uh, notice that I've set these special to true for just those particular patches that are going to be our my color palette patches. And now this is the entire Go procedure which does it all. If the mouse is inside, if that, that particular variable returns a true, then I will ask turtle zero, that's the little turtle that I'm dragging along, to set its particular um, x and y coordinates to the same coordinates as the mouse and that allows the mouse to drag it along everywhere. If in addition the left hand mouse button is down and we are on top of a patch whose is special property is true, notice that this is the turtle that we're talking to now and the turtle can in fact look at the is special property of the patch underneath it. Then we will set the if it is uh, if it is true then we are right on top of a palette color changing patch and we set the color of the turtle to the color of the patch. On the other hand, if it's not a special then we want to draw with the that particular turtle and instead we, we recolor the patch underneath the turtle the same color as our turtle. So that's the entire paint program in action. I will place this particular uh, project and the project for the more complicated exercise which I will show now um, in links in the next couple of videos. This project will be placed uh, down below this video and uh, the project exercise project will also be placed on in the next video and this is the next project. This is the exercise and this is a little bit more complicated. We set up we, get a, we create a bunch of turtles, about 9 or 10 of them, uh, 10 in this case, and randomly place around on the screen. And then we can, with our left hand mouse button, we can select the turtle by clicking on it and we can move it anywhere we like. Uh, we can move this guy and we do that by moving the, 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 the mouse to inside the particular uh, circle that we want to grab, putting the mouse down and then dragging it with the mouse. Now, if on the other hand we just place the mouse down here, no circle is being dragged because it is not close enough to any of the circles. This will require a little bit of more advanced work and there are hints in the exercises. Please give the exercises a try.